Vlogmas day one. It's so weird to say that because I've been talking about Vlogmas, I think since I started, someone asked me and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And it's finally here. And um, I was really excited last night. I felt like we're all very excited about Christmas. We're about to put the Christmas tree up, um, the big one. Me and Toby have done a few decorations, but they look a bit rubbish because we just chuck things everywhere. But we're going to put the big tree up in a second. Um, but yeah, so last night I was sleeping and I was so excited. I felt like a kid on Christmas Eve. I was so excited about starting Vlogmas. I know that might sound a bit weird, but I've just been looking forward to it so long. I'm genuinely like so excited about all the Christmas stuff and, and what we're gonna do. And oh, I don't know. It's just, there's so much excitement in the air. I don't know if it's just me that feels that. I don't think it is. I think it is like quite an exciting thing, isn't it? I kind of plan to start with a opening an advent calendar and end with another one, but I'm just gonna open them on the day, whenever, you know, and like a normal day and not sort of think too much about it. I've got lots of Christmassy things coming up, but um, yeah, I'll just take you along with me and film every day until I think Christmas Eve, that's when the last video goes on, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I've been, I was so excited last night and a couple of um, videos have, have gone on as well. So I did a Christmas video with Mr. Carrington. We did the Christmas tag and it was so funny. We recorded it quite a while ago. I watched both of the videos this morning I had a cup of coffee in bed and I was like laughing my head off so yeah they'll be in the description box um so we're gonna decorate the tree today and what else is happening um I've got to oh show you my Christmas jumper which I'm wearing now this is from Peacocks and I got it last year or the year before I can't remember but I haven't actually worn it so I'm wearing it today and then later on I've got a gig um tonight at Corton which is in Lowestoft and lots of Lee's friends are um, gonna be going to that. So that'd be quite nice. And Toby's coming along and some kids as well. So that's this evening. And last night we went over to our friend's house, Louise and Andy, and they've got two kids. And we had like such a funny evening. It's the first Friday I haven't vlogged before. And there was so much funny stuff going on um, that I did do some filming. So I'm gonna add a little bonus bit of filming here that we did last night. And Louise and Andy have got such a lovely house and it's all been decorated. So I asked if I could um, film the house and they said yes. Yeah. So I just filmed a few bits. I've got all their Christmas trees up, their decorations, and I'm really jealous. It looks so nice. So I'm just gonna show you some of the footage from last night, if that's okay. And um, a big hello to Kenzie and Declan, who are the kids. They'll be watching this, hello. Um, and Kenzie did a magic trick. So he is a an up and coming magician and he's got so much charisma. He's really funny and he's a real showman. So he did um, like a magic trick, a card trick um, with Lee. So I'll include that as well, but I'll just show you what we got up to last night. How lovely is this? I just asked my friend Louise if I could quickly um, film a bit for Vlogmas because they've got their tree up and we haven't got um, we've done ours yet. It's so cute, I love the colors. I haven't seen it since they've um, done their house up. Really nice. A little mirror, what's that mirror? And the plants. I need some plants. I'll ask where she got them from. And the little plant pot things. And look at this, the little log burner. And the wall with the like leafy, the leafy fireplace or chimney breast, isn't it? And this is just behind the Christmas tree. All their little ornaments on the shelves. I can't wait to have some shelves up in our house. I love this colour. I love all the colours. It's really nice green. Look at that. The bar cart. Oh, it's amazing. And they got this off eBay and then they sprayed it. Love it. I'm so jealous. Little Poundland star. I love these lights. The table looks really sweet. I said, oh, can I quickly film it for YouTube? I said, oh, it's a bit of a mess. And I was like, this is not a mess. This is perfect. It's so nice. And look at these shelves as well. <laughs> Hello. Love your jumper. Yeah, well, you know, I had to dress up for the occasion. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Just want to quickly show you what we're having for dinner. The spread is lovely. It's really nice. Andy, Louise's husband, has made this. Hello, Andy. Hello. Nice apron. <laughs> Christmas came early. Look at this spread. So, what have we got here? What's this? So that tomatoes. is no, that is roasted peppers with cheese yeah. stuffed. That is yogurt and harissa. Right. Got couscous with lemon and a bit of chili. Yeah. Hedgehog potatoes. Uh, Hasselback potatoes. Hasselback. Mm. I thought they were hedgehog. Some <laughs> flatbreads. <laughs> yep. And you've got brack of lamb. Oh yeah, brack of lamb. What's over there? The same thing, but look at this. Amazing. Oh, that's spicy. Hello. Well done, Reedy. Bye. I know it's Friday and this is meant to be a Saturday vlog, but this is just a sneak, uh, sneaky peek of what we got up to on, on the Friday because um, 
Louise and Andy's son, Kenzie, is about to do a magic trick and he's brilliant, so I'm just going to go and film him. <laughs> I don't like that game. No, I, it's weird, I don't <laughs> like that game. Freak so out. Gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah. Did we try and play that at centre party? You were like, no, I'm not I playing it. Do. it makes I don't feel sick. like it. I don't like the dribble. <laughs> yeah, you do. That was, wasn't it? <laughs> Hello, my name's Kenzie. Uh, I'm going to show you a card trick. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to show you a card trick. Perry's going to show you a card trick. Um, what we're going to do is just make sure all of those cards are different. Just show it to the camera. I'm not going to do anything here. Expert, well done. I'm proud of that. Just make sure they can actually see the cards. Oh, sorry, there we go. Sorry. Right, what do I like to do? Shuffle up the cards for me. Shuffle up the cards. Just give them. That's brilliant. That's, yeah, that's really good. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to influence you. I don't want to. I don't want to tell you when to stop. Well, um, just deal the cards down, and whenever you feel the urge, just stop. I know. I mean, like this. I mean, oh, I don't want to touch them, but like just like, deal them down. Don't look at them. Yeah, just whenever you like, just stop. You can make it as messy as you like. That's right. Just make it all messy. Don't really, doesn't really matter. Yeah, just keep dealing them. You can put as many down as you like. Yeah, you can do it like that. Obviously, not the bottom card because you don't like the bottom card. But any card, because uh, you want to stop on this because yeah, this is the card you want to stop on. That one. Uh, so I've got a prediction here. Now I'm going to put it right there so you can see it. What I'm going to do is um, inside of it. Actually, no, I'll tell you later. Um, we've stopped on one card here. Now we've got this card. Now I would usually show the card earlier, but obviously we don't know. Let's just assume it's this one. The nine of clubs. So if you've got one card earlier, it would have been the nine of clubs. One card later, it would have been the five of diamonds. But you've stopped on the four of hearts. Completely random. Inside this box, it says prediction on it. Perry, as dramatically as you like. I'm just going to build up suspense for you. You could have stopped on any card. I didn't even touch the card, did I? Mm, no. Nope. You, sh you shuffled up the cards, you shoot the cards, I didn't touch the cards. Uh -huh. I've ripped, this box has been here the entire time. It's as dramatically as you like, just rip off the word prediction. Just one. Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the four of hearts no, is written on the post that, that was there the entire time. Now before I do that, people say there's only, there's, there's lots of post-its of different cards. Rip it off dramatically. <laughs> As you can see, that every single post-it note is completely empty, proving that, that we've just witnessed real the impossible. Magic! Yay! Well done, Kenzie Reeves! <laughs> Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas day number one. Remember, stay tuned until day number 24. I'm going to be seeing Louise next week. We're going to go Christmas shopping one day. I think it might be Wednesday or Thursday, so I'm looking forward to that. And Louise will be on a vlog again. She's so funny. I love Louise. I love all that family. Um, but I'm going to go and join Lee and Toby upstairs, and we're going to go and decorate the tree. Toby has decorated this tree with my giant baubles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The big There's big tree cuddly there. toys in here. Cuddly toys. What cuddly toys? There's just some cuddly toys in it. Ooh. The train is going around. I just said, oh, wouldn't it be good if the train played a song rather than just be noisy? And look. It does. It plays a little tune. <laughs> Happy New Year! The tree's all finished and Lee just hoovered because there was stuff everywhere. All bits of glitter and tinsel and all sorts. So here is our lovely tree. And it's just full of random different decorations over the last few years. And some like homemade Toby ones as well. With a little train underneath. Yeah, there's probably loads more to add. I'll find some more like decorations. I think Lee did that when he was little. Or well, he was given that when he was little, I think, or painted it. I can't remember one of the two. I think that's one of mine from when I was younger. And there's a few sort of really funny decorations on here. There's, oh, look at little, a little Toby. I think he did that when he was about two or three in nursery. It's fun, that's a bit scary, that bird. At least so he's at the back. He can stay at the back. I think they were in Poundland last year. Funny little Santa. And I think that was Poundland last year as well. That's from a car boot sale. 
And we bought this for Toby for his first Christmas in 2011, but he didn't arrive till the 29th. He was due on the 12th of December, but he was really late. So it wasn't his first Christmas, but we'd already bought the bauble. We thought we would keep it and it's still cute. I love the little wooden ones. They're really cute. And down here, we've got the Home Bargains one. I think that was from Home Bargains recently. My mum bought these a few years ago. Got quite a few of those and lots of plain baubles. I think Lee's mum made these and there's a little like chocolate inside that and a funny Santa. Hello. And Toby had a really good idea of putting the tinsel all around the banisters, which looks really sweet. So well done. Well done, Toby. And here's the first mug of the day for Vlogmas. This is lovely um, Home Bargains mug I got about a month ago. And I've just set up this little scene in here um, so I can take my pictures. When I put them on Instagram, I can leave it like this and every sort of mug of the day photo will be the same, which I think would be quite sweet. So I've got a little Christmas scene with these guys. Hello, they're from Poundland, they're so cute. I can't remember where these are from. I got them last year, they're little like um, squishy presents. Um, decorations obviously they hang up but I think they look quite cute there I think they were second hand that's from Poundland as well I've got no idea where that one's from but I just wanted to show you the first vlogmas day one's mug of the day or Christmas mug of the day hello Santa oh, oh, oh. it's vlogmas though do you know what that is a Christmas vlog every day hi and here's Lee's homemade advent calendar. So I wrapped up the little cardboard box. I say wrapped up, I just really did it very quickly. And then I was gonna wrap up each bottle, but then I thought it would probably take too long and Lee wouldn't really care. He'd probably get annoyed with opening each bottle. So I just stuck some numbers on the top um, in random order, number 24. But yeah, so Lee will have a little bottle every day for his beer advent calendar. And I'm gonna open the first little door for the Kath Kids to advent calendar it was quite easy to open oh sorry mr guinea pig i'm gonna take your side of your face off what have we got in here oh that looks cute is that a lip balm it's a kath kidston lip balm that looks really nice and this hero's advent calendar is for toby so it's quite a big one it's quite a good advent calendar and this is also for lee so a little chocolate one but i know toby will probably eat both of these but it's meant to be for Lee but I know Toby will probably have that one and then he'll help himself to this but Lee's got beers anyway and Toby's also got this Lego advent calendar I forgot you had this one I've just opened a big box and I thought it just had the Wilkinson lights inside it but no there is um some advent calendars that I may have accidentally forgotten about that's the only thing when you buy things early you forget you've already got them, but it's no bad thing. It just means we get an extra advent calendar each, but I didn't have a chocolate one anyway, so it works out quite well. Oh no, I did have a chocolate one. I'll have two, it's Christmas. This is all inside the huge Wilco box, and I think I bought them a couple of months ago. I think they're on offer though. So a quality street one, Lee can have an extra one. I'll have one of these. And over here, we've got some treats. So I bought some like um, little cat treats. Or is that a dog? That's a dog, isn't it? Yeah, this dog, and then these are the cat treats. So they'll be for Bestie. And this is so cute. I forgot about this too. It's a little um, dog decoration. Totally forgot I bought that as well. It was just in the bottom. How sweet is that? It's a pound. Little dog. So I'll put him on the tree. And Toby has started his countdown to Christmas. Uh, it's like an advent activity book. It's really sweet. It's from Aldi. It was one ninety nine, and the RRP was £10. And on the back it shows you all the different things to do so you do one a day oh we got stickers as well they're good this is the first page this is really nice isn't it there's all different things to do so one a day all the way until christmas and this is the pen that we got with it that's so sweet do you want to show us how to do it that's really good isn't it is it crayons or is it pen it's pen is it light though i feel like oh, do i hello vlogmas day one watchers um lee and toby have just got out they've gone to meet some friends and go and have some food and like Lee's friend Daniel is back from Australia so they're just gonna get together this afternoon and I'm gonna nip to the charity shop in Galston, the Sue Rider, because I've got a bag of stuff I wanna um, donate and maybe have a little look around but I just wanna get rid of a few things and I've got a few mugs to give um, to take there as well so that's what I'm gonna do in a bit but I just wanna show you what my friend Louise got me for my birthday because um, obviously I saw her last night as you watched like the little video of the um, magic trick. If you enjoyed the magic trick, let me know, comment below and I will tell um, Kenzie 
he's honestly he's so like talented and he's just got like a little extra something he's just really he's a showman he's really good anyway so louise um got me some lovely little presents this um makeup bag it's a new look makeup bag with marble and pink so there that's gonna be really nice for like our new bathroom so i can maybe have that out on the side and it looks all nice and she got me a birthday card but i can't um I can't show you what the bottom bit says, but it's very funny. Um, and then she got me a lovely mug of the day. This was the mug of the day. It's a lovely glass. I think it's from Next or TK Maxx. And I was drinking out of a cup of tea there last night. I was like, oh, I love this. She went, oh, and she ran off. And then I think somehow it ended up in the birthday bag. Um, but I really like that. So thank you, Louise. She also gave me two huge... Um, black bin liner full, bin liners full of um, her son's clothes. Like they'd all grown out of them, but they're really nice. And I was just at the stage where I need like the next size up for Toby because all of his jeans, because he's, he's so tall. He's going to be seven in a few weeks, but he's in size eight to nine clothes. Um, and she gave me all of that age, which was brilliant. So yeah, I love it. Do you love it when people like give you stuff? Like, I just think it's so nice to um, pass everything on. And I always try and do that. If it can't go to, to a person, to a friend, then it goes to a charity shop. And if it's, you know, it doesn't go to the charity shop, it'll go to cash for clothes. I don't throw anything away unless it's like trashed. And I'm just gonna quickly show you my outfit of the day. So obviously I've got this Christmas jumper on, but I've teamed it with a skirt that you might have seen in um, the charity shop haul the other day and my blue boot. So it's just a navy blue skirt and I've just tucked the jumper in um, and it's got pockets, yay. So this is my outfit of the day I just wanted to quickly show you and I might try and take a picture in the mirror um, and put it on Instagram so I'm trying to put like a mug on Instagram a picture of a mug on every day oh there's a cracker off the wall and I want to get like um an outfit of the day because I want to wear something festive every day so that's the plan to put a couple of pictures on Instagram um yeah every day and if you want to follow me on Instagram if you're not already doing so I'm Kate McCabe and I'll link that below and I've got a house account um and that is Kate's homely home I don't know if you're meant to say account. I don't know. I think I'm just meant to say maybe just Instagram. But anyway, I'll link them below in case you want to um, have a little look. Right, better go off to the charity shop now. And I found a couple of things, a little jumper, and this is like um, a pinafore dress. Sarah said, oh, have a look over there. There's a like a pinafore corduroy dress, and it's like burgundy. So I really like those colours, and I think they're £3.50 each. I'm just going to get them, and then I'm going to head home. So I've got it get ready for my gig and practice my songs and I also bought these Yankee Candle Christmas decorations they had quite a few and this one was eight pounds um, and they just had them come in so this is a little wax melt thing so it hangs up somehow I'll set it out probably tomorrow it just looks so cute doesn't it so I had to get that that one was eight pounds and then here's a box of stuff um, and this was five pounds so I think oh sorry I think this kind of sits on top of the decorations and you put a votive candle in there and I don't know what else is in it, just some bits and bobs. So I got this box um, for five pounds. So I got the dress, the polo, it's like a polo neck jumper and a little scarf and these little decorations. So it was a good successful charity shop and I donated a big bag full as well. It's half four now, Lee and Toby are still out and um, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'm gonna have a sandwich. I don't want a big dinner tonight because I'm gonna be singing. So that's what I'm doing now. Cup of tea in my mug of the day, my lovely home bargains, Christmassy mug of the day. And I'm gonna make a cheese and ham sandwich. Very exciting. Lee and Toby are downstairs watching football. So I've escaped, um, not escaped. <laughs> <laughs> I've come upstairs, that sounds terrible, like they were keeping me hostage. Now I've come upstairs because I want to do some editing um, of my videos to get this ready for tomorrow and all of my car boot sale bargains are in the cupboard just over there. So I'm going to get them out on Monday when Lee is at work because we've already put the decorations up um, and then I don't want to like stress him out with all my bargains everywhere. I've got friends over tonight so I'm going to save that for Monday and get all my vlogmas bags. So over the summer, I kept finding stuff at car boot sales and charity shops and I've put them in my bags. So if you're looking forward to that in case you'll, you know, you uh, remember me saying that, then I'll do that on Monday. That is the plan. Yep, got to take my mum to the doctors on Monday and then I'll go through the bags on vlogmas for day. That'll be day three, won't it? Yes, it will. Right, so I'm going to edit my videos. I'm going to reply to some comments and I will speak to you probably when I'm at my gig. And I've just finished my gig and it was quite quiet, but a really nice crowd and a lot of our friends were there in the corner to the left of me. So that was nice. I'm like singing along and, and waving and stuff. So yeah, it was a good gig. And Toby was uh, was here, but he was just running around and being a kid. He didn't dance or anything. But no, it was a nice night. Did all my Christmas songs. 
um, and I'm just going to get changed and probably have a quick drink with them. I'll have a coca-cola and then get home um and i think when we get back a couple of our friends are staying over james and marta the people we went they, we went to their um wedding in greece in the summer so they're staying ours we'll probably have a couple of gins when we get back home so i'm going to end the vlog here vlog, day one of vlogmas so i hope you enjoyed it i'll have another one for tomorrow i'm going to be uploading every day at seven o'clock that's the plan so hopefully i can stick to i'm sure i will it'll be okay so i hope you enjoyed it and i will speak to you the same this time tomorrow thank you very much bye hope you enjoyed vlog this day number one, one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>